I, know, I got a great heart. I'm a good person. Yeah. That I know. Doesn't make me happy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another conversation with Colin. I'm Greg, and this is my roommate, Colin. Now, sometimes Colin says crazy stuff. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I reach into my random topic pile, pull one out, toss it at him, and we talk it out for your amusement. If you like that, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Colin, are you ready? Mm. Today's topic of conversation is, if you could be roommates with any other IGN editor, who would it be? Submitted by at Maverick MacD. So you and I work at IGN. Mm. We're roommates too. Mm. I die. You die. Who fills the gap to be the other roommate, you think? I don't know. I have enough money to kind of carry this place. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm it. I'm your last roommate. I, I imagine that when you and I part, yeah. that we will neither of us will live with anyone in it anymore except for mm. our girlfriends. We'll be the three richest kings. Well, I'm just saying, like, I, like we, we don't... We're, our Heads financial up, oh, okay. San Francisco, very expensive city. Most people have roommates here. So if you're asking why a bunch of 30-year-olds have, have roommates. San Francisco is far more expensive than where you live. Uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, so the, the whole situation is that this is, you're my last roommate. Mm -hmm. We're not in a financially precarious situation at all, like sure. either of us. We do it because we're trying to save money and like just right. be a little more responsible. Live comfortably. Yeah, exactly. Like we can, because we pay much less in rent than normal people in San Francisco do. By the way, the average rent in San Francisco is about $2,600 a month. Mm -hmm. Um, we, uh, we mitigate those problems with each other. And since we don't hate each other, we can do this. And like the whole thing, I was talking to Christine about it actually when you were gone. Where My I was girlfriend. Like, well, Christine Steimer is, is Greg's girlfriend. And, and I was saying, like, I know Greg kind of wants to leave at some point or whatever, and I'm like, the fact of the matter is, like, Greg and I are probably going to live with each other for a lot longer than Greg thinks. <laughs> because, because uh, A, we're all profoundly lazy. Yeah. And, like, outside of work, we're just like, sure. I don't really give a flying fuck. And, B, like, Greg underestimates how easy it is for him to be able to find a place in the city for, like, a, like a, a situation that's going to allow him to pay for it. Yeah. Um, so I think two things. I think that when we leave this apartment, it'll be because all of us are leaving, moving out. Yeah. And we'll both not live in San Francisco anymore. Yeah. Ooh, and I'm not saying we're going to leave the Bay Area. I'm just no, saying, no, like, I you know, saying. I That's go to Alameda saying. or, or you know, Oakland or Richmond or something. And right. You, you right, know, right, you go right. wherever it is you go, and or we go to the, you know, the Valley or something like that. Sure. Um, and so I, I think that you know there are, yeah there are people at IGN that I would sure but like I think that if you died, nobody steps in, huh? No, we'll just we'll just rent your you know room out to a, a, a vagabond or something on the oh, street. Okay. Like Mike Mitchell. Yeah. I think Andrew Goldfarb would be fun to live with. He He'd seems, be easy to live he's, with. Exactly. He seems like our speed. He's quiet. He's into the same things we're into. Yeah. He's like kind of um, a nice compliment to us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he would be easy to, to live with. I like Eric Martin a lot. I think he'd be fun to live with because we'd have great conversations with him. However, he's, he's too, very young. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's still very too, much likes to party. He's too young. Too much party. He doesn't understand the world. He doesn't come home like we do, beaten by life, go to bed at 10 o'clock. No, I, I went Eat to bed. The other day I went to bed at nine. The other day I went to bed at nine. Nine o'clock. That's no good. We look forward to sleeping too much. I love to sleep, yeah. mostly because I'm just wildly depressed, and it's the only way for me to <laughs> to, to uh, stay away from uh, the things that uh, the bad stuff, the, the bad things. So yeah, I think you know, I think that yeah, if you moved out of here without us being ready to leave, then we probably just flew up this place by ourselves um, with Cheryl and I and Mike. If we all decided to leave together, then I think that we, you would live with Christine, I'd live with Cheryl, Mike would live in an alley somewhere. Sure. And we'd, you know, make that work, so. Okay. This is the last roommate situation I'm ever wow. going to be in, unless, like, the economics of a situation, like, God forbid, turns so dire that I need to, like, go home and live with my dad or something like right, that. Right, 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 right. Well, well that wouldn't be that bad, I guess. That'd you know? be cool. Like, no rent. Well, I think you'd pay him rent. No, you'd, I don't you'd feel like so. it. He'd I want rent. Oh, I don't. GJM, he's going to want some yeah, of that GJ, rent. Yeah, GJM, he's a serious dude, but... The one thing my dad always told me is what he appreciated about me the most yeah. when I grew up was I never asked him for anything, mm. you know? Mm. My dad, you know, my parents, you know, are fine financially, but, like, they sent me to college and made me pay for it myself because that's what men do. And, uh, you know, he always told me, he's like, I appreciate that you never really asked me for it. Like, I could have fallen back on him so many times. Sure. I never did. Sure, sure, sure. And so I'd like to think that if like I fell on hard times when I was 30, 35 years old, I'm like I gotta move in for a while and be like, that's oh well, that's yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's fine, you know. Cause, like, but I think you, knowing you, you'd be giving him some money. When you had it, you'd be giving it to him. Yeah. Don't act like you're not. You're a good guy. I am. You a act guy. all grumpy and mean and stuff, but you're you're a you're a good-hearted guy. I know, I got a great heart. I'm a good person. Yeah. That I know. Doesn't make me happy. 
but that's you know that that's that's you know that's another matter entirely. Okay. Well, thank you for your time as always, Colin. <laughs> yeah, no Maverick MacD, thank you for your question, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a future topic for conversation with Colin, leave it in the comments below. Then make sure you like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, share us with your friends. Until then, we'll be back every Tuesday and Thursday. So have a conversational day. A number cruncher, yeah. like an abacus. Yeah, I'm not going to be that guy. No. Not going to use an abacus at work every day. Not going to sit there in front of the Excel spreadsheet and add up, you know, how much corporate loss we have and what the mm -hmm. net gain is. I don't even know. Oh, what business terms. A lot of business terms. You're yeah. just throwing out terms. I yeah, you what, really... What's the Venn diagram intersecting right, with this right, parallelogram right, right, right. do? Of course, of course. No. Um, you sound like someone that has a business background. <laughs>